Hello and welcome back to another episode of Main Event Wrestling and this is Power Move Pro Wrestling on PS1. This game was published by Activision, developed by those wonderful people at Ukes. You might know Ukes, you know, they're quite popular. They developed the early Smackdown games. So that's a good start, that's a good start for this. But the thing is with Power Move Pro Wrestling, and this is the American version, I'm going to get to the characters Begin. in a minute. And as you can see, you've got The Judge and Come On Don't. So those are just two of the characters that you can get on this. But first, we're going to have a look at the game mode. So let's get into that. So the game modes are as follows. You've got a one player, two player, you've got a 12 man gauntlet, a championship PPW league, PPW tournament, and you can go for a demo match. But we're only going to have a singular match on this, you know, have a little bit of fun, see what the game's all about and everything like that. Right. So obviously this is where you can make up all of your stuff and everything like that. Your difficulty, your time limit, do you want draws on, your venue, how many rings do you want, you know, the view and your sound. You know, it's basically your options right before you get to go ahead and pick your character. But we're going to move into that right now. So we're going to have a look at the characters. As you saw with the demo, we saw The Judge and Commandant, but there's also Danny McGee, there's Zombie, Chain Gang, Malibu Mike, Lance, The Egyptian, Area 51, Orange and El Temblor. And then there's King OG down at the bottom. But I'm going to tell you a neat little fact about this. So in Japan, this is known as Tokun Retsuden or Furious Legend in Japanese. This was originally going to be a New Japan Pro Wrestling licensed video game, but due to the then limited popularity of the promotion outside of Japan, an original roster of wrestlers was created for Power Move Pro Wrestling while retaining New Japan Pro Wrestling wrestler movesets. So, I want you to try and have a guess as to who these people are. The people, are, the person I'm going to play as is Area 51. So drop me in the comments below who you think Area 51 could be. Keep in mind this game was released in 1995, 1996. So if you know your New Japan history, then you might be able to work it out. Anyway, this is going to be Area 51. And who am I going to go up against? You know what? Should I go up against another person with face paint? Or should I just have a bit of fun? You know what? Let's go with King OG. So without further ado, let's wrestle. Hello, wrestling fans. This is the intensity of battle you've been waiting for. This is where the gloves come off, the rules get bent, and the wrestlers break havoc! People, it's time for Power Move Pro Wrestling! Single match, no time limit, in the blue corner, seven feet tall, over 400 pounds! A monster of biblical proportion, King Ark. In the red corner, some say he's six foot in height, possibly 240 pounds. The man the government denies, Area 51. Referee, Rothburn Sully. Begin. You know, that's pretty cool. I, that's like the first time I've been able to watch um, that kind of, uh, what you call it, intro. You know, I mean, it's pretty much the first time I've played it. It's like a double check controls and it's got a very um, similar control scheme to... Pick it up. Uh, you know, the early SmackDown games and stuff like that. You know, it also doesn't have weight physics, so if you manage to hear that clearly regarding the, um, what was it, like the weight for, I didn't realize it was King Og, I've been calling him King OG, you know. Um, then yeah, apparently he's about 400 pounds, he is, 400 pounds. 
and Area 51 was what? Uh, 240 pounds? So, yeah, you know. God, Oggins just went ahead and started kicking my ass. Get down, get down, get down. But yeah, so this is Power Move Pro Wrestling. So to initiate grapples, you know, you, you can still hit circle, but it's a little bit finicky, you know, like I'm trying to hit a couple. If you hold circle in the direction, like you can go ahead and, you know, perform different ones. Square, like if we go from here, like tap it, picks it, picks them up. How is that a road break ref? You know, uh, Square does, whilst both are standing, Square runs, hitting Square around about their midsection, if I can bloody get there. Nope, that was not what I was looking for. Oh, nice. So, X punches, squared, you know, does like an Irish whip. It also runs. So, we're gonna. Oh, I was hoping I could do a running attack. Triangle does something whilst they're standing, I can't remember what. But you can also do like, you know, submission moves and stuff like that. You know what? Oop, I think he got me. Yeah, he did. It, I mean, like, they're very similar to SmackDown. You've probably Next seen up. some of the animations what? that are like, yes, you know, this is very, very SmackDown. But like I said, this was done by Ukes, you know? Can I hit a pin? There we go. One. Ooh, kick out at one. One minute. You also get like little announcements about, um, was it? About how long each, you know, the match is gone. And I think it's in double time anyway. I ain't break it. How was that a rope break? You can do other moves as well. It's not just like, you know, scoop slam, suplex or what have you. Each wrestler has got their own uh, special or like signature moves and stuff like that. So, so I've been trying to pull one off. Like, got a bulldog, you can do certain things whilst they're groggy and everything. Like, yeah, here we go. We've got a nice little gorilla press stand. Press. Ooh, you cheeky, cheeky lemon. But yeah, um, so I'm going to stop explaining the controls and everything. So yeah, this this was originally going to be a New Japan licensed game. I mean, like you can see the logo down below. It looks very, you know, similar to the old New Japan, doesn't it? So always a good thing. You know, with the bulldog instead of like the lion or the tiger, whichever one it is. You know, I can never bloody remember. Yeah, so if you want to move them around, press square as well. Square at the head is that. Right. Let's see if I can pin him. There we go. It's like it's quite finicky with the positions that you need to be to be able to hit the pins. After a while, like as you can imagine, like yeah, you know, they get groggy and they get tired, hurt and everything like that. And then you're actually able to hit a pin count. When it flashes on their name, you know, that means like the crowd's getting behind them, everything like that. So it's a lot more arcadey, like I said, with, you know, Smackdown, Smackdown 2 vibes, you know, before really starting hitting its stride with, I'd, I'd probably say, you know, um, what you call it? Shut your mouth, because just bring it as good as it is. It's not, Pick it up. you know. One, two, three. Oh yeah, the ref. I forget that the ref can count and obviously disqualify if you don't follow his rules. Now King Og is laying some shit down. Come on. But yeah, get down, you clown. You know what? Let's try and hit him with another beautiful sharpshooter. 
Ooh, stops the match. Time to tap out. So yeah, and that's basically Power Move Pro Wrestling. It's uh, you know, it's it's quite slow. I mean, up until the SmackDown games came out, like the controls needed severe refinement, you know. And I think I think the best the best thing really is that if you want to give it a go, give it a go. But I don't really recommend it. It's a bit slow paced, you know. And if you're wanting more action in your wrestling games, then yeah, this gen generally is. I mean, as a precursor for you know um, for the as a precursor for the SmackDown games, this is you know th this is kind of like the prototype. It only got better with SmackDown, but yeah. This is Power Move Pro Wrestling, and that's all i got to say about that. So thank you very much for joining me on this shortened episode of uh, Main Event Wrestling. Yeah, much shorter. Thank you very much for joining me. You know, As always, if you like the video, give it a like, share the video as well, because more shares, more views, more views, more than that channel continues to grow. Subscribe to World Minus One Entertainment if this is your first time on the channel. Don't forget to check out all of the other content that's currently available, and if you do subscribe, I've completely lost my place. And if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell so you are notified about any and all content that goes live onto the channel. I can't believe I had a brain fart like that. <laughs> anyway, drop us a comment below. Have you played this game? Did you know it was licensed on New Japan? Who do you think the wrestlers are modeled after? What? You know, Two, drop us a comment below three, and let's have a chat. Four, anyway, thank you very much for five, joining me and I will six, see you next time. Seven, for some more eight, one, two, nine, three count main ten, event wrestling. 11, Take it easy, 12, everyone. 13.